What's this about? Sir, I need you to step out of the car. What in tarnations do you want? Sir, I just need you to stand really still. What are you doing? Sir, just stand really still. What, what, what are you doing? Call it. I don't gamble. Call it. I'm not calling it. I can't call it. You have to call it. Call it. No. You have to call it. No. Call it. Nah. Am I being punked? Is there, is there, is Ashton Kutcher gonna come out of the tree line over here? You own this car? Yeah, it's my car. You married? Yeah. So you married into it? Uh, no, I, I bought it from a dealership. He married into it. That's not, that's not how cars work. Um, when do you close? When do I close? When do you close? Uh, it's, well, I mean, typically after dark. <coughs> that's not a time. When do you close? I, I told you, when it gets about dark. I need you to stand really still. All right, now, I'm out of here. You have a good one, man. You take your emo phase and uh, figure out your life. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today I have a very special guest, Administrative Results. What's up everybody? I'm Administrative Results and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. That was great. That was it? That was perfect. I was practicing on the plane ride the whole time here. So Aaron, hmm. have you ever seen the movie No Country for Old Men? Oh Scott, have I? I hope so because otherwise he's going to be wondering why we're dressed up like this. In the movie, there is an assassin named Anton. Mm -hmm. And he goes around with a shotgun and this little guy. This is a captive bolt pistol. This works off of a 22 blank and it fires a piston out the end. This is used in places like slaughterhouses and things like that. It's actually really creepy. So in the movie Anton, he uses an air tank and an air compressed version. But today we have the gunpowder version. Mm. I am very curious to see what this can do and what it can't do because in the movie, he does a lot with it. He's like busting out locks with it and it seems really, really powerful. So today I want to find out just how stout this thing is or is it just a movie myth? <clears throat> Sir? Okay. You know, normally I would keep the wig, but it is so hot today. I have already sweat through this shirt and I'm, I'm just losing, I'm gonna lose the wig. So our first target yeah. is Ballistic Gel. We're gonna be able to see just how deep we can penetrate with this captive piston pistol. So first we gotta get this thing loaded up. So like I said, it utilizes 22 blanks, just like what you would use in a nail gun. So you have the hammer, and then this right here is like your firing pin. You pull that back and then your 22 blank goes right there and you flip that up. You're ready to go. Before I hit the gel, I, I just got to see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty gnarly. So now I guess you're just supposed to push it back in. Okay. So uh, now I guess I'll just uh, take a shot at the gel. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Yep, it's a good little hole. It's like what, two and a half inches, three inches? Well, ballistic gel, that was pretty much nothing. Like I felt no resistance at all. Yeah, it was just really ate it like a champ. Yeah, so I think we need to uh, start stepping it up and see what this thing can really do. All right, I'm gonna let you take a shot at this. Uh, I don't think it's gonna have any problem busting through this can, but I think the slow-mo shot's gonna be pretty cool. I hope so, yeah, I hope so. There you go, and that goes forward. 
There's a little hole on top that pressure comes out of. You definitely don't want your fingies by that. So this thing originally was used for livestock and things like that, but I'm not gonna use it on livestock, but I will use it on something that is absolutely wretched. A Furby! Furbies! What are we dealing with here? Upside down. I think this will do it. Furbies. No match for the piston pistol. Other than, you know, we just didn't know where to actually fire the piston. So next, I want to see if we can make it through a coconut. That's a pretty hard thing to make it through. Just go from the top here so you can apply some, some pressure. Good, good pressure. Yeah. Just, uh, again, yeah, Watch hole. out for the little high pressure hole. Find the hook. Oof. That one through there like that was nothing. There ain't no water in it. Oh, man. There's nothing in there. There's supposed to be coconut water in there. We got ripped off. Okie dokie. It's time to quit messing around. I want to try out the real thing. When I say the real thing, I mean a Ballistic Dummy Labs zombie bust. I think that this pistol would be perfect in the zombie apocalypse. I'm very curious to see just how... What are you doing? Shh. It knows too much. You, that's not how you kill a zombie. Oh, my bad. You can't. You can't choke it. Never mind. Uh, cut. All right, you ready? As I'll ever be. Uh... Okay, so yeah, it's like the movie, all right. That's uh, that's pretty brutal. Okay, let's give him a nose piercing. Oh! Oh, it's he's got he's kind of leaking right now. Um, I think we opened up his sinuses. Okay, I'm gonna have you uh, go on the top now. Oh! Got such a headache. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, I would say that we have established that this piston pistol is very effective. It is more than effective, if you ask me. Uh, and I would say that now that we've gotten all this other out of the way, I think we should really put it to the test. There's one thing I have wanted to try for a very long time. I don't I don't want any Girl Scout cookies. Have you heard the good word of Joseph Smith? No. Okay, anyways, we are gonna see if we can bust out one of these locks like he does in the movie. I think it's not gonna happen. I think it's a movie myth. Aaron, what do you think? Oh, thank God I can come in now. You know, I think there's, uh, I wanna be optimistic. I think there's some hope. Well, we're either going to bust the lock or we're going to bust the piston pistol. Okay. I'm going to go for the deadbolt. Very good. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Oh, my God. So... It didn't blow out exact. Well, it just about did. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't believe that. I am so happy I came to Kentucky for this. It just blew through the whole door, though. It, like, knocked the whole thing through the door. It, like, punched it hard. Okay, so we made it through the deadbolt. 
feel like that would be the more difficult one. But I want to see what would happen if we hit the lock on this doorknob. I'm going to let you uh, you do the honors here. <laughs> Let's try and get on that little circle there. And... No country for cows. You know, with that though, you knock out the deadbolt. That is your most difficult thing when it comes to getting through a door. You know, mm -hmm. the deadbolt's what's going to hold this door shut. Not this is nothing. No, no. You... After you pull the deadbolt out, you just you just got to kick it. Say less. Sheriff's office, open up. He be kicking. I am extremely impressed with this. It's pretty darn tough, and it's pretty much done everything that Hollywood made it out to be. That ain't nothing to shake a stick at. It's got some hard bark on it. Got a real kick in the pants. So now I want to test it against something that I don't think it's rated for. I really want to see just how stout this is. Mm -hmm. So we have a four inch thick cinder block and I'm really curious to see if it breaks it in half. Okay, here we go. Nope, did not break it. I think we found its limits. Whew, did it, man. That thing is salt. Yeah, that still didn't bend it or nothing. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and give it a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to check me out on all other social media platforms. Links to those can also be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you want to check out a shirt. Also be sure to check out Administrative Results. A big thank you to Aaron for coming out and filming with us. There will be a link to his channel in the description down below as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. My name is Scott. His name is, his name is Administrative Results. And we'll see you next time.